Harambe, Harambe, I'm glad he died. Harambe, Harambe, let's see what's inside. Whoa! There comes a time in every man's life where he must ask himself the question, Why did Harambe die? What did he do wrong? What horrible travesty was committed upon humanity when this majestic creature was so abruptly taken from us? Today we'll be exploring that topic and more, and because I'm retarded and I can't speak properly, I'm going to stutter a million times. So, let's have some fun, let's have a little goofs, a little laughs, and really get to the bottom. Why did Harambe die? He didn't have to die. Everybody knows that. But the real, the real goal here is to make a lot of friends along the way. Harambe... I love that gorilla. I love that man. Harambe didn't need to die. It's gonna be okay. I know some of you in the audience are crying right now, but it's gonna be okay. Harambe, I love Harambe, and I love you. So let's begin the journey. Let's begin the journey into Harambe. All right. Okay. I think I think that's a good idea. All right. We're gonna do it. So the day Harambe died, some of you might be thinking to yourself, why, did, why didn't why did they just shoot the kid? My answer is, I don't know. They probably should have. But it, that's okay, because we all have questions that we don't have the answers to. However, I had an interview with the mom of the kid who fell right into the gorilla pit, and also an interview with the kid. And that's coming up next on Chris Hansen's Dateline NVC. So get ready, guys. Is coming up next after the commercial. So here I am with the child of the of the Harambe incident. Um, so child, how pretty much what was your intentions when you so deliberately jumped into Harambe's pit? <clears throat> um, yes, I jumped into the pit on purpose to kill the gorilla, and I hate him. <clears throat> Yes, that will be enough for today. Thank you, son. Um, so I figured that was the case. So pretty much uh, what we got from him, uh, he tried to attack me, so we had to actually remove him from the room. Uh, that's why we only got audio right now, but we actually had to remove him from the room because he tried to attack me, and he tried to also get the zookeeper to shoot me, but it wasn't happening because the zookeepers already know that I'm not, I'm, that I'm good. So we're not, he's not going to shoot me, so we good. All right, thank you. There are also another few discrepancies in the Harambe's murder case. One of those being that the gorillas typically exhibit behavior protective of their young, such as standing in front of them and dragging them violently through water trying to drown them. As you can see in the original Harambe tapes uh, straight from the vault, you can see that that's exactly what Harambe was trying to do to this, this child. He took the child by the leg, whipped them around real quick, and put him in the water for a little swimming lesson. And that's really characteristic behavior of what a gorilla might do in the sense that it's trying to protect its young. So pretty much, I think, personally, and also in a, from a professional standpoint, having dealt with gorillas over the course of many years, that uh, Harambe was just pr- trying to protect his child, trying to protect him, and uh, he really didn't want any any... Uh, hardships for the child to face so he drove drove him through the water a little bit that's okay child was all right but um what what really isn't characteristic here is that human child's behavior now after analyzing quite a few human children i have come to see that most human children don't go out of their way to try to murder gorillas now i could be wrong on that i don't know a lot of human children however from what i have observed in my time uh I've only ever known one to actually enter a gorilla's pit and deliberately get him killed, and that is this uh, case right here. So, I think, and this is just from personal experience, I think this was intentional. I think uh, that action should have been taken against the gorilla. So, you know, that's that's just me. You come up with your own decision. I, I thank you all for joining me today. Harambe documentary 2016, free Harambe, a uh, child should be arrested, or even worse, be subject to the same fate as Harambe, and uh, thank you. I thank all of you for joining me today, and I hope after this, all of your opinions will have changed. 
I love you guys. I love Harambe, and and this joke is completely dead. This joke, I murdered this joke six times over. It's not funny anymore, guys. Please, someone, someone, like I, I'm, I'm in the recording booth right now, and somebody come save me. I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. This joke's not funny. Please, somebody, just like, just kill me. I don't know, man. Just, just mess me up, fam. I, I can't do this anymore. I can't. Please, no.